Welcome to Omron's product features video series. In this video, I will be highlighting Omron's SIP safety product offering, followed by a short video on how to use the EDS file creation tool in SysMac Studio to quickly and easily add third-party SIP safety devices to your project. Omron's SIP safety offering includes the following components. First, there is the NX CSG320 communication controller. This module allows the NX SL5 series safety CPUs to work standalone without the need for a PLC and provide network connectivity to remote SIP safety I.O. devices or robots. The NX SL5 series safety CPUs are available in two versions, the NX SL5500 and the NX SL5700. These versions support a different number of safety connections and have different program memory sizes. Last, we have the two versions of the GI series SIP safety remote I.O. modules, the GI SID 1224, which is an input only module, and the GI SMD 1624, which offers a mix of inputs and outputs. These devices are configured using our SysMac Studio software, starting with version 1.24. Let's go into a little more detail on the features of these devices with a live demonstration here in our Automation Technology Center. Here is the NX CSG320 communication controller, which provides power to the local NX bus and network ports. Let me show you some additional features of the NX CSG320 our communication controller for SIP safety. The NX CSG320, our communication controller for SIP safety, provides the power to the local NX bus and network ports and has a removable terminal block. It is possible to connect up to 31 NX cards in addition to the safety CPU. There are two sets of rotary switches to set up the port's IP address from 1 to 254 and three built-in Ethernet IP ports that offer two independent Ethernet connections. Port 1, the top port, represents one network connection. The bottom two ports represent the second network connection that effectively operates as a two-port switch. The NX CSG320 supports two different network configurations, star type and line type. Behind the front cover is an SD card slot for system backup, restore, and event log features. Also simplifying troubleshooting, the module has LED indicators in the front for power status, module status, port status, and SD card status. Next we have the NX SL5 safety controller. The NX SL5500 safety controller is able to support up to 128 SIP safety connections and up to 1024 safety I.O. with 2 megabytes available for the safety program, while the NX SL5700 supports up to 254 safety connections and a maximum of 2032 safety I.O. and up to 4 megabytes of program memory. Depending on the hardware configuration, this safety PLC can support both functional safety over EtherCAT and SIP safety over Ethernet IP. Similar to the communication controller, it includes different indicators to simplify maintenance and troubleshooting tasks. It has a seven segment display that can be used to check the safety signature and error codes. The LED indicators offer status information for the communication status and for the safety program like error, run, valid, and debug mode. There's a service button located on the front of the unit that is used for checking the safety signature code and also used as part of the data logging process. The dip switches located at the bottom are used for unit backup and restore and event logging operations. Next we have the IP20 GI series SIP safety remote I.O. modules that allow the connection of safety inputs or a combination of safety inputs and outputs to a SIP safety network. The GI SMD 1624 offers 12 inputs and 4 outputs, while the GI SID 1224 offers 12 inputs only. Both include 12 test pulses for better diagnostics of connected devices and have two Ethernet IP ports to allow for a daisy chain configuration. They also have removable terminals and a memory cassette. These modules have been designed with a focus on making maintenance tasks simple. The removable terminals will help to reduce wiring efforts while the memory cassette stores the entire module configuration and makes it easy to move the configuration to a new module in the event of a replacement.
The NX Safety CPU can be combined with NX Safety I.O. cards to offer local input and output capabilities. For safety inputs, the NX SID800 card offers eight safety inputs and two test pulses, while the NX SIH400 supports four safety inputs and two test pulses and is used for special safety devices like non-contact door switches and safety mats. For the outputs, there are two options as well. The NX SOD400 card, which offers four safety outputs with a maximum load of 0.5 amps per connection, while the NX SOH200 offers two safety outputs with two amps per connection. The NX safety CPU unit and safety I.O. units can be mixed with standard I.O. units to create a complete modular safety control system. There are over 100 types of standard NX I.O. units available, including digital and analog I.O. units, temperature input units, and encoder positioning units. SIP provides the ability to mix safety and standard devices on the same network for seamless integration and increased flexibility. The support of third-party devices is essential for any SIP safety implementation. Omron SIP safety solutions allow the ability to easily create a direct robot connection via SIP safety over Ethernet IP with all major robot suppliers. This helps to reduce wiring efforts and reduce wiring mistakes during installation or maintenance. Omron has developed a new EDS tool that will be integrated into Sysmax Studio starting with version 1.45. This tool can be used to quickly and easily create the EDS file for third-party SIP safety devices so they can be added to the network. This new tool is scheduled to be released in April 2021. Let me show you how to create an example EDS file using this tool in Sysmax Studio. First, select the Safety CPU from the Multi-View Explorer window and navigate to Connection Settings Originator under Ethernet IP Safety Connection Settings. In the Connection Settings window, right-click under the Ethernet IP port and select EDS Library for SIP Safety. Then select New EDS File to open the parameter window for the new device. Use the third-party device manual to fill out the information in the table, and when completed, select OK to show the preview of the EDS file for review. After confirming the information in the file, select OK to create the EDS file for the device. The file will be created and a CRC generated for reference. The new device will now appear in the EDS library window, as well as in the toolbox. This EDS file can now be selected and exported for use in other projects. The new device can be added to the current project by dragging it from the toolbox and dropping it into the connection settings window. As you can see, this EDS tool integrated in Sysmax Studio will help to quickly and easily add third-party SIP safety devices to your system. In this video, I have given an overview of Omron's SIP safety product offering and reviewed how to use the EDS file creation tool built into Sysmax Studio to quickly and easily add third-party SIP safety devices to your project. For more information on Omron's SIP safety solutions, please visit our website at automation.omron.com. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope it was helpful.